You're using your phone on the bus, and the individual in the seat next to you keeps trying to peek at your screen. Certainly, it's bothersome in a major way. This is no longer a problem with Samsung's latest processor. The question is, how? Let me answer that. Well, chipset's top-notch security can discern the difference between a genuine and a phony face. Let's talk about the second generation of the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 together. Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 During its Galaxy Unpacked event in August, Samsung introduced the Galaxy Z Flip 4 and the Galaxy Z Fold 4. However, a few days before the launch, it was anticipated that the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra would have the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 CPU, and the rumors turned out to be true. Now, let us discuss the new chipset. The new Artificial Intelligence AI experiences available on the mobile platform were a major emphasis of the keynote presentation. The first step is the new Qualcomm AI engine, which includes the Hexagon processor and the Sensing Hub. Because of this, processing power may become an issue. With the second generation of the Samsung 855 SoC, Qualcomm has improved the power and efficiency of the Hexagon processor and spread AI processing capabilities across the SoC. Substantial interference performance enhancements while decreasing power consumption is the overall result. Qualcomm's Hexagon processor is innovative in a number of ways. Qualcomm claims that the increased speed allows quicker natural language processing, multilingual translations, and sophisticated AI-powered camera functions, but more on that later. The Sensing Hub has doubled its AI performance and doubled its memory capacity. The Sensing Hub, in conjunction with a dual AI processor, manages a number of AI features, such as the management of several sensors, such as the ambient light detector, gyroscope, and accelerometer. Features such as a microphone slash speaker, an internet connection, and a constantly monitoring camera that can recognize faces and do other tasks like eye tracking and iris authentication are all desirable. All of this data processing is occurring locally on the device, where it is protected by Qualcomm Snapdragon Secure Technology. Key features like near-face detection can activate the screen only when the user is looking at it. The proximity sensor will silence warnings when it senses other people around, protecting the privacy of your calls and messages. Snapdragon Secure is our suite of security technologies for isolation, cryptography, key management, attestation, and more. That is amazing. Qualcomm is introducing a cutting-edge 5G platform that enhances communication through 5G, Wi-Fi, and Bluetooth. In a post by Forbes, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 will also feature another first dedicated AI processing in the modem, an area that is long overdue to be enhanced by AI. This feature improves throughput, coverage, and range, especially when operating at the edge of a cellular network. In real time, the AI processor improves the channel status feedback, antenna tuning, latency, and other essential network factors, all while conserving power. Let's discuss Snapdragon Sight AI photography features for capturing precious moments. The Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 SoC has been optimized to work with cutting-edge cameras and sensors. The ISOCELL HP3 200 megapixel picture sensor from Samsung is being fine-tuned by Qualcomm for use with the Snapdragon platform. Picture time! Laker Ice Universe wasn't kidding around when he said the new 200 megapixel camera sensor will improve night photography. Users would be able to take shots with rich details at full 200 megapixel resolution. Take the picture, take the picture, take it, take it, take it, take it, take the picture! 50 megapixel bend and 12.5 megapixel bend even in dim light. The Cognitive ISP is the crowning achievement of Snapdragon Sight, since it enables in-camera semantic segmentation in real time. Another chapter in the AI saga, this one featuring a neural network that recognizes faces, people, grass, trees, clothes, and accessories based on their surroundings. While recording video or taking pictures, it will immediately apply AI photo editing. To eliminate reflections caused by eyewear, it can recognize whether you're wearing sunglasses or glasses. The AI has the capability to enhance the hues of the sky, flowers, and many other natural objects. We cannot wait to try our hands on the camera, and if you feel the same, subscribe to our channel so you do not miss out when we upload our camera test videos. Anyway, if you're wondering how much the S23 Ultra will cost you because of the new chipset, you're in luck because we're about to spill the beans, so stay with us. In terms of graphics, Qualcomm says that the new Adreno GPU provides a 25% performance increase and a 45% improvement in battery efficiency. Up to a 30% performance gain is available thanks to support for Vulkan 1.3. For even more vibrant colors and finer textures, HDR Vivid is supported by the GPU. Qualcomm has been updating the capabilities of the Snapdragon Elite Gaming platform, 
and now it supports real-time hardware accelerated ray tracing. The firm claims that this contributes to providing more realistic lighting effects in mobile games. Qualcomm's latest flagship processor, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, has support for spatial audio with dynamic head tracking, making it possible to enjoy high-quality, fully immersive surround sound. It's not melting my brain, it's blowing my mind. Pricing In spite of Samsung's silence on the subject, we can safely assume that February of the following year will see the device's arrival. Since this is in line with Samsung's historical pattern of product releases, we can safely assume that it will happen in the first three months of 2023. Samsung unveiled the Galaxy S10 line on March 8, 2019, and the Galaxy S20 line on March 6, 2020. Thus, we know for sure that these dates are accurate. Samsung unveiled the Galaxy S22 on February 25, 2020, while the first episode of S21 premiered to the public on January 29, 2021. Finally, we can declare that we're excited about the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. There has been no official word on the Galaxy S23 Ultra starting pricing, but we expect it to be the same as the Galaxy S22 Ultra starting price, which was $1,199.99. Some of us are just waiting for it to come out so that we can finally afford the S20. You may put your faith in us when we state that the S23 Ultra's upcoming new chipset is fantastic. The improved CPU and camera, however, may come at a hefty price. To compete with the iPhone 14 Pro and the Google Pixel 7 Pro, though, we'll have to wait until the S23 Ultra to see what it has to offer. The back and forth between Apple and Samsung supporters is something we can't wait to see. Anyway, there have been some rumors about its design, so click on the next video for more info. See you there!